Council to order uh, Mr. Gregory, I believe uh, his asked me to go ahead and, and chair this. Uh, I certainly don't mind turning it over to him. What we're looking at is uh, urban services budget, which is on page 44, statement J. Um, let's see, do we, whoa, May 23rd, we do have. Y'all get your agenda and a uh, copy of all this. Did you get get that packet? The same one that was handed out previously. You may not have it with you, but we can go over it. Uh, the thing that we need to do first is elect officers. I don't think I'll have met to do that. So uh, would entertain a motion on electing uh, chairman, Mr. Nolner. Have a motion to leave the officers the same, the same as they are now and currently i believe that's uh, mr gregory's chairman and is there a secretary richard is secretary so miss amy's going to take care of those because mr richard don't know what day it is um okay all in favor say aye aye okay that is taken care of Congratulations, Mr. Gregory. Uh, next would be to discuss the um, fiscal year 2023 urban services budget, which you've had before you. We landed at uh, where we started at two and a half percent study plus a step plus two and a half percent. Looking at that, I believe that uh, Amy, you can give us some figures, but latest figures we have puts us at uh, what uh, total revenues looking at one million one hundred twenty nine thousand sixty one cents and expected expenditures at. Let's see, that's at page. 46, 1,332,915. That's going to be a little bit of a deficit of 203,854. Is that correct? Uh, typically, our revenues are going to come in above that. And uh, we're this last year going to wind up about a break even. And that's, you know, we have to do this for uh, comptroller understating the revenues. Those revenues are pretty constant, pretty set. Uh, shouldn't be anything there that's uh, uh, should be that anomalous on it. But in doing that, uh, that would keep us at a at our current uh, rate with no uh, property tax increase in urban services, and that that tax rate percentage. Uh, based on um, the figures we have now is uh, what, 68, 68.9 or 68.09. Um, of course, that reflects it going down from 87 because of the reappraisal. But that should have, in effect, come up with the same amount of money based on the preliminary figures we have. Now that may, once we do get an absolute certified rate and penny value to be presented to the county commission, it might vary a little bit, but right now uh, that's, that's where we're our best guesstimation at this point in time. Mayor, do you have anything to add to that? Do you think that's where we need to be on this? Uh, yes, sir, as you said, in, in previous years, uh, we've all, we've, well, in the last couple of years, and we were projecting this year to have actually an excess in revenue. So I think I feel pretty good about what we propose. I think we'll be either close to break even. I, I think I don't think we're going to be hurting on fund balance in the urban services. I think we're sitting pretty good. So that's where we're at, guys. Uh, you know, if y'all want to alter it, you know, think that's enough. You, you want to ask for a tax increase, we can certainly do that. But I, I see a lot of heads going this way, not this way. And uh, so what do y'all want to do? Mr. Nolan. 
make a motion to approve. We have a motion by Mr. Noller and a second by Mr. Johnson. Any further questions on this? Everybody cool with this and understand what we're what we're doing? And certainly this is this is up to you. You know, this is your your call. And uh, not trying to tell you what to do or not do, but I think Just this so it's will on work. Record, you're making a motion for option two on urban services. Option two on urban services. Which is what we will mirror what we've done in the other departments. Uh, Everybody okay? That good? All in favor? Well, Any further questions? Yes. Yeah, Mr. Chair, I would just say for the minutes and everything, if we could get the, the motion specifically stated that we're going with the option two that was adopted for the other budget, that way we're just covered. Would you restate your motion, Mr. Nolan? Yes, I'd like to make a motion to, uh, for option two. Is that all you need? Uh, yes, sir, I yeah. believe that. Option two of the urban services budget. Of the urban service budget. Right. And we do have that as a second by Mr. Johnson. Any further discussion on this? Thank you, Mayor. We want to make sure everything's clear and there's no misunderstandings or room for misunderstandings going forward. And I think that absolutely does that. I appreciate that, Mayor, more than you know. Amy, you have anything needs to add before we vote on this? All in favor, say aye. Any opposed? Okay, it is done. That's what we will present in our our full budget. Um, any other business y'all have? Anything that you want us to look into? Uh, you know, uh, myself and Mr. Gregory have many times in past went over this line item by line item, trying to see what could be adjusted, changed, and uh, I think we've got it down to about as clean a. Uh, set of things as, as we can at this point in time. Uh, I don't. So there are some things that can probably be looked at. Maybe we could start that process next year. I won't have to deal with that. Okay, uh, public comments. Seeing none. I have a motion to adjourn. Mr. Gregory makes a motion to adjourn. Mr. Noller makes a second. All in favor of adjournment, say aye. Aye. Thank you. It is done. Aye.